Hello boys and girls, welcome to another Kerbal session. I have decided to do the Moon Satellite mission separately from everything else. For reasons I will show you in the next video. Um, for this, it, it is a very, very basic satellite mission. I have constructed a very cheap a cheap one, very cheap craft, costs about 11,000, has a lots of delta V, it is a single stage to orbit and then we will decouple this satellite which will make it from Kerbin's orbit to moon and will have enough fuel for orbital adjustment maneuvers. This orbit, uh, this orbit, uh, this uh, satellite has to have. It is a new unmanned probe which has a power and an antenna. It has power, solar panels to recharge the batteries. It has an antenna. Reach the designated orbit. Have a thermometer on board. We have a thermometer and we have a materials bay, which is this science junior, I think. Maintain stability. We shall do this. Unmanned craft, 7.2 kilometers per second delta V is more than enough. I'm using a gimbaled engine on this one, on, on, the, on the lifting stage. It's a rather weak engine, so at, at, this, at the start of this we are losing quite some fuel by going, to, by rising up too slowly. But um, since we have such a big margin of fuel, we don't really care too much. And this time I'm not uh, heading for an uh, extremely low Kerbin orbit. It will be fine if we end up a little bit higher in, in the orbit, so around 100k will be still fine. I can save some fuel here. No, actually, we can't. We're still only 40 seconds ahead of, of our apoapsis. saving fuel I should stretch this now okay our periapsis is already way up at 
200,000. Burn prograde here. We just made it into orbit. I can decouple. And we can plan a maneuver to moon. Our periapsis is above the atmosphere. We don't really need to care too much about the eccentricity of this. Planet, Moon and Intercept. Yeah, I will plan a Moon Intercept where we will have a gravitational break, where the Moon will help us break. And that is, I think, one of these. We'll see where we get. We have lots of fuel to spare, so it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. This should do as well. So we will see. What, what we, where we are at when we approach the moon. Hopefully I will see the target orbit of the satellite there. Yes, and now that's about as I wanted it. 
we are about to orbit the moon roughly in the direction at least in the anti-clockwise actually in the clockwise direction of, of moon so I will close this orbit and we will do the rest of the maneuvers when we are orbiting when the moon has captured us Okay, close enough. Now we should change the inclination of this. Change the inclination. Yeah, how about we do it here? we will burn anti-normal and retrograde yeah this should be good for a for a first correctional burn here we will do the rest later. Okay, now how about another inclination change? About here. And I will want a anti-normal again. Yep, that should be it. And I should, I could also burn a little bit retrograde. Well, let's not try to do too many things at once. Anti-normal will suffice for now.
Yeah, I overdid it maybe a little bit. Okay, close enough. And now, yeah, what? Now what? Um, we should lower our periapsis somewhere here, then retrograde here. No, not here. Roughly here. Okay, and another correctional maneuver will be here where we'll be burn retrograde. Have it somewhere, something like this. And that should be it. That should be for the satellite. Our first moon satellite in career mode. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. And that's it. Contract is done. We have a moon satellite. We can... Seventy-two thousand credits. We have it. Go to Space Center and enjoy it and uh, look forward to our next mission. It will be a really interesting one. I have worked half a day on the next one. Something really nice is coming up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.